in this entire process, the constant question is, should, should school be changed or should the student be changed? Well, 100 years ago, the answer was really clear. School is the way it is, we're going to fit students into the school. That had quite a number of disadvantages. We lost a lot of talent that way. In some cases, lately, we might have gone a little bit far in the other direction. That school is kind of like the extended staff. You know, you've got your house cleaner, you've got your babysitter, you've got your teacher, and you need to have like good discussions with them so they do what you want them to do. Um, that, that's kind of like pushing it, but sometimes we are asking a lot of schools. Uh, with limited funding, with a lot of students, they need to do a lot of stuff. And the question is, is it helping the students? Because we might risk, and maybe some of you have seen this at the Olympics, that we turn into this. And that's actually not just for the parents, but for schools as well. Um, this is curling. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's like sliding a disc over the ice. And then there's two people running in front with little brooms and like smoothing the way as they go. So this is us with our kids. You know, we put a disc on the ice and then the teacher and the, and the parent will go in front of the disc and like smoothen the entire ride. And it works. The disc goes further that way. But the disc goes further that way because we take all the obstacles away. And I don't know what your life looks like, but my life is full of obstacles. And why can I take the big obstacles in my life? Because I had little obstacles when I was a little kid. And that's a learning process, dealing with the obstacles. So no obstacles may make for a longer ride in the beginning, but for a weaker kid in the end. And the challenge is to train them in such a way that they can deal with challenges as they come. Because otherwise you might risk some challenge with what you call the attribution style. The attribution style is about who do you blame when things go wrong or right. So say <clears throat> I'm successful, I get a high grade. I could attribute it to myself. Wow, you know, check me get an A+. Plus. Or I could say, well, you know, I was lucky because it was an easy test and, you know, it was an easy subject and stuff like that. Same when things go wrong. I get a failing grade, I can say, oh no, I did something wrong, it's the worst thing in the world. Or I can think, well, I couldn't help it. I mean, my teacher made a stupid test, like, what can I do? So who are you going to blame? And that creates kind of like four different options. If you're always going to attribute it to the world or someone else, you're going to be a victim. Because sometimes you're happy because they make easy tests and sometimes you're, you've got bad luck because they made a stupid test for you. But most likely, a lot of kids go one of the other extreme. A martyr, when things go well, they're like, oh, you know, couldn't help it, you know, it was an easy test. But when things go wrong, they're like, oh no, I did something wrong. You know, it tends to be a perfectionist. The narcissists do exactly the opposite. They're like, when they get an A+, they're like, you know, check out my A+. Oh no, that's failing grade. Well, that was a stupid test and that was a teacher's fault and somebody interacted and like, oh, it's all somebody else's. But what we would like to have is where they get an A+, or where they get a failing grade, to attribute to yourself. What can I do to make things better? What can I do to improve things? And that's actually a much more healthy way of dealing with obstacles. And that can be anything. It could be a failing grade, but it could also be a lack of friendships. I mean, we have to be empathic with kids. It's really, it's really hard if you don't have friends. What can you do to make things better? What can we do to help you with it? Because we can point at, you know, the world is unfair and there's not enough gifted and nobody understands it and nobody understands me and nobody understands you. But is that going to help? Is that going to make it better? What are you going to do to make things better and how can I help you? I can get you to a camp, but you have to pick it out. I can get you to other people, like you don't know how to approach people. Let's get a book, let's ask somebody. What can we do to make things better and how can we train that? How can we train the skills that go with it?